So after Brendan eventually got out of reverse gear, it was time to look for live bait, and Kirk had found them in good numbers just behind backline. Kirk had barely even let out his larvae when he was on a small tuna, but it was definitely punching above its weight division. Kirk went further north to hunt Kuta, while back here in the south it was dead, even these prime larvae going untouched. So out came the Helcos, and the impact was immediate. This feisty little tuna knitted its way quickly through the other line, leaving a lovely nest even a hardy doll would be proud of. So, Kirk returned with a nice surprise. The live bait coming up to the surface, we can also chase it in. And he charred it like at the surface, so it's a nice fish. And there's a couple of tactics you can use if you are fishing blind in an area that you don't know, and if you don't have a fish finder or GPS. And like I said, one of the giveaway signs is like the ski boats or a fisherman in the area. Especially if a ski boat's anchoring, then you know that it's a good spot. Um, and it's a, it's a spot that's, that's um, apart from that, um, how you should fish a new area or an area that you don't have uh, marks or, or a fish finder is doing zigzags. So basically you'll go out, try and find um, whereabouts a local reef is and either follow, follow other fishermen out there and then just do zigzags back sort of out onto the, across the reef and back over shallow, back out deep, back over shallow and you'll eventually somewhere along the line have some sort of reef. Um, and if you've got the right bait on, then uh, yeah, you should go away with a decent fish. And these are all tactics you're telling me now, after <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got to keep the deep in bait. <laughs> One last trawl before heading back to work and maybe a quick bit of spinning.